Nam Kilipcha from Sikkim in the district of North. I'm going to recite a poem with the title Five Rules for Whomever It May Concern. I repeat, Five Rules for Whomever It May Concern. One, do not judge me if I wear a hot pants or sleeveless top with the two pieces of clothes sliding from my shoulder to my chest because my clothes do not define who I am. What defines me is what I do and what I am capable of. Two, do not stare at me if I have a bright colored hair or an ink body. Of course, you can look at me and appreciate the art and effort, but I do not give you the right to stare at me and make me feel uncomfortable. It is an act of bravery, bravery of being different, of being unique, of not being afraid to experiment or not an open invitation to laugh or mock at. Three, if I wear a red cherry blossom lipsticks and smile at you, mm -hmm. Do not take it otherwise. Trust me, it's courtesy, not curiosity. I repeat, it's courtesy, not curiosity. Four, if you say sorry and I say it's okay, doesn't mean I'm okay with you hurting me. It means you do it again and you know the consequences which brings me to five. Five, do not underestimate by seeing the size of my fist. Because when you look closely, this small face is made of molten iron. One blow and you know you'll be slayed like my small sharp eyes. It is so sharp that it can cut you into a thousand pieces when you look at it with lust and hatred. And if you still do not obey these rules, remember, my forefathers were headhunters. I was born out of a clan of warriors. Remember, the world hot test chili is growing in my grandmother's garden. Remember the Battle of Kohima, perhaps one of the cruelest battles in the history of World War II. And yes, it was fought in my backyard. But dear, if you smile at me with love, kindness and oneness, I will be your friend. I will take you to the places where you haven't been before, from plains to mountains, rivers to valleys. I will narrate you the folk tales which were passed down to me by my grandfather and which were passed down to him by his great-great-great-grandfather. I will tell you the story of the man who turned into a flower, a baby who turned into a ladybird. I will sing you a melodious song like a bird chirping all day long. I will leave your friendship band made of silk warm. All I ask from you is, dear, please, do not judge me on the basis of my future or of my dress. Thank you so much. Once again, good evening to one and all present out here. Respected to our Vice Chancellor Sir, respected to our Ajay Sharma Sir, respected to Dr. Deepak Pakrabam, President of Neshwa Gwalior, respected to Dr. Mayum Bishmanath, Secretary of Neshwa Gwalior, respected to all the faculty members present out here. I feel honored and privileged having an opportunity to propose a word of thanks on this memorable occasion. I, ex I express my deep gratitude to our respected Vice Chancellor Sir, MD Sir, Ajay Sharma Sir, Resta Sir, and all the Nes uh, Neswa team who are really, a, really guiding and constant motiv motivating force behind our endeavor. I would also like to thank to the volunteers of this association who have been running around doing a lot of things. I think without their support and hard work, this even would not have been a successful. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation to Dr. Mayum Vishwanath for his explanation about the Neshwa. And I would also like to thank all the distinguished invitees present here ex for accepting our invitation. I would also like to thank all the anchorings of the day for hosting this event in a very successful manner. Thank you to all the anchors. I would also like to thank the member of the media for advancing interest in, the covering, in covering the event and all the good hearts who worked behind the screen. I, would, I on behalf of ITM University, would like to thank all the North students who had come across from all the different universities to put in various performances and enlighten this auspicious occasion. I hope that you all enjoyed a lot. Thank you to ITM. Thank you to, uh, especially to our Ajay Sharma sir. Thank you to our Vice Chancellor sir, Rista sir. Thank you to all the uh, faculty members, all the supporting staff members for your support and guidance towards this event. Finally, I'll leave you this inspiring quote by 
Martin Luther King, an individual has not started living until he rises above the confines of the individualistic concern to the broader concerns of all humanity. I repeat, an individual has not started living until he rises above the confines of the individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity. Once again, thank you to each and every one of you all for being patient with me for a few moments. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed a lot and we hope to see you soon in the days to come. Once again, thank you. Before we exit, I would like to re uh, request everyone uh, for the photo session for one minute. Please, everyone. Thank you so much.